Gods, I pray you give me strength. The Horse Lords have been awoken by anger. Anger at the loss of their capital. Anger at the death of their king. And anger with the foreign invader who brings with them steel. A great host is marching. Men carried by rage and a resolve to protect their homeland. Who are we to stand in their way? But stand we must, for we are the mightiest of nations, and this land we claim now as ours. But remember, it is only claimed because of them. Because they decided on war and raiding all those years ago. That was when we were weak, but now we are strong, and they must bear the consequences. So gods, give me strength. Give my army purpose, for it is time to break the Horse Lords once and for all. And when we're done with that, we'll turn our grim faces to the betrayers that are the Bactrians, supposed Helenas, who do not know the value of loyalty, a value we will show them on the end of our spears. Go then, men. Great deeds await. I just pray that we can stand against the anger and purpose of the Horde. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign as the Seleucids in RTR Imperium Serectum. Last time, we actually did a toggle fog of war, and we saw what was going on in the world. We also uh, got to go through a bit of a plan of what we're going to do, and what uh, we... I'm going to do going forward. Now, the Ptolemies have thrown a bit of a spanner in the works with that already, which is slightly annoying. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to have to try and get off this island as quick as possible. Um, and then build a navy up at some point. I See, the thing is, at the minute, it's, it's not quite necessary to have a navy. Um, and I'm surprised, honestly, the Ptolemies still have a navy, seen as they don't have a port in the Mediterranean anymore. <laughs> so in real life, those navies would be completely destroyed. Uh, but anyway, uh, enough about that. I don't believe we have any battles to do right now. We did see that huge Parthian army around here, and I really do want to kill it. I want that battle for you guys. I want you guys to see a big battle against Parthia again, because they were so fun uh, before we go into battle with the Bactrian fools who betrayed us. Um, who le who destroyed our trust, really. Uh, very, very upsetting. Uh, but no, we will uh, go in there and try and destroy them. And we are going to be expanding quite quickly once again. We have we hit that lull for a second, but now we're going to keep on going. That should be really good, 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 good fun, if I can speak. Um, but very good. Yeah, uh, we've got Praxinos in here doing some managing. And we've got... Paterinos. Very cool. Uh, yeah. So I think we're at the end turn, guys. So let's uh, press the end turn. I hope that Parthian army comes and attacks us. Please, Parthia. Parthia's... Oh, no. We didn't even see... They didn't even move into any of, the, any of the areas which we can see them. I might put a watchtower down so we can actually see if they ever come near Nisa. Um, but ideally, I want to fight them now. I don't want them to be a rebel army because... Then they just have license to go and kill anyone anywhere. Uh, take any of my settlements in that region. Um, so yeah, I'd prefer to actually kill them now as they are a Parthian army rather than taking Characata. We do have a uh, watchtower down. Please tell me that that's them. No! Absolutely fuming! Oh, Nisa. Oh. Oh, he's died in the rioting. He died in the rioting, and that has made Nisa very, very upset. That's not ideal. I'm not going to lie. That is really, really not ideal. These are damaged, though. That's going to be 10%, so that's 52. Uh, that's another 5%, so that's 57. Plus 10. 67 plus 5. That should bring it up above it. I'm, I'm hoping. But I, I can't be certain. And Baroya was also upset for a second. Why are they... 
Yeah, why have they got upset and then they're not upset anymore? We'll build that inland trade center there anyway. Uh, yeah. Again, lots of building going on, which is great. And let's see. They're still goddamn... This might be suicidal with our ships. Oh, we can get all the way across to there. Yes! Come on. We've escaped the clutches of the cruel Ptolemies there. It's annoying that Pergamon's not my um, protectorate. I don't think they're my protectorate anymore. Right. Uh, get you guys out of there. And then you guys can go in. I believe that's enough space. Yeah, just enough. And of course, to retrain all these boyos. Six this to four, right? Really? I didn't realize that guy was down to six men. That is not a lot. <laughs> that is really not a lot. Hopefully we can retrain them all by the next turn. And then, yeah, it's the decision between Crete or Cappadocia. And I think... I think the right decision is Crete. It's going to make us a lot of money. Uh, it's a nice place. We can call it the, uh, the, the Island of Kings. And we'll rename all our... All the settlements on that island after those boyos. Right, in this area. Again, we are going to be auto-resolving these guys. There is no point in us taking that fight. 84 losses. Not ideal. I should move you guys down there. should move the archers really ideally in front. I oh, know you're not an archer. Uh, move you guys down the front. And let's have a look at what they've got inside here. It's a large city. So they do have some very decent cities in this region. Uh, but it's Greek as well, which is great. Fantastic. They have done a lot of culture converting for us, which is really, really, really helpful in terms of public order <laughs> from these guys. Uh, we'll go for the Temple of Hera. I believe we'll be able to leave straight away. So if we just leave that one guy, be that way. Get off onto the bridge. Really? Only 45%. I thought we would have been able to leave. Let's get that in there. That's only 55. That's another 10. 65. Plus... The law and happiness from the walls. Yeah, that should be enough. So, we are going uber aggressive with our strategy down the Nile, but there is no point in going uh, conservative. It just takes forever. Oh, nope. I don't want to do that. There's only one guy in here. There's a single unit. We lost 48. They lost 42 or something. Well, let's enslave that one as well. We've got two towns growing from that. That's great. Is And Nicomedia. Oh, that's going to be so helpful because Nicomedia... Is struggling with population uh, with public order, so yeah, that's going to be fantastic. Let's destroy that. It's only a large town, right through. And I think, looking at sort of this, I, yeah, I don't think it's worth going there. I think we just come north, take Petra, Bostra, and Palmyra, retrain at Antioch. Then go straight north into Cappadocia. Then we'll have two armies potentially against Cappadocia. Or at least one for the time being. Um, you guys need to get on the boats. And get off. This might be a bit more of a unhappy place. They are still Greek though. It is Greek still. Good. That's fantastic. I think we build roads here definitely. It's only going to take one turn. Yeah, and it's cheap as well. Let's go for that. Right then, in the far north. We built that watchtower. I really want to find that Parthian army. Anyway, let's go straight for Parthia. Okay. Looks like Bactria can't keep hold of Antiochi Marginai. That's going to be great for us. That Parthian army, though, I wonder where it is. We know where Characata is now. I think we come down here looking for it. Okay, what's this? There it is. Need you to do that. And then hopefully he'll follow where it is. 
They've moved a long way in a couple of turns there. Long, long way. Very long way indeed. Uh, but anyway. How are we doing in terms of the army over this way? I think the uh, the Hoplites are just good enough to fight off. Um, to fight off the enemy over here. Now. We are a minor city. <sighs> yeah, we can get the Hippodrome. So I think we start working our way up to that. So that we can actually get some good cavalry. Going to get some Theroporoi as well. Um, and then we'll use... We'll use... Yeah. Adi uh, Manthos. I wonder whether we... Oh, we do have loads of mercenaries available now. So what I think we'll do is we'll get Adi Manthos off here. And I'm going to spend some money here, guys. Definitely spend some money there. Javi Cav. We don't want Javi Cav. But... Horse archers. Yeah. They're so expensive, though. Cataphracts. Yeah, we'll take those. Light cavalry. No. Not so much. Uh, and we'll use that. And then what we'll do is we'll go and pick up the rest of the troops from down here. And we'll have our second army ready to go. I don't think we'll need them for this one. We might, in fact, recruit... I think these Persian, Persian spearmen archers are actually really good. And the Hyrcanian, yeah, 160 missile range. Those two guys are going to be fantastic for us. I could do with some more cavalry, though. I think, I think, I know it's a lot of money, guys. But that extra cavalry can make all the difference in this battle against Parthia, seeing as we've only got one general now. Uh, you know what, we, we'll join, we'll join them. And... We'll wait till that one's done. No, we'll keep on recruiting. And, yeah. Well, we do need those archers in that army. Probably only another two, because if we send this army against Bactria, it's... Yeah, we probably don't need as much archers as that to go against Bactria. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, transgression against Bactria. I don't give a damn anymore, bro. Bactria can fuck off. <laughs> I really don't care what they think anymore. Let's get an academy in there. Uruk. Susa. Okay. Salukia Hydaiphon. Let's go for the public baths. Kalanai Sewers. Definitely. Asur. Let's go for probably the academy as well. The academies, guys, they give you law, which is not ideal... For in these small area, uh, for these close areas to Seleucia, but what they do do, on the other hand, that is great. Well, there's no point having all these guys sat here. He's 48. We'll send these two. These two are going to go govern. Probably, I'm thinking like Jerusalem and Samaria. So go down there to govern them. Uh, but yeah. Abantes. Is there anywhere that doesn't have a governor? I think they all do. That's the problem. I mean, some of these governors are going to die soon, so... That's Susa. Susa it does as well. Seleucia had iPhone doesn't, so let's go for that. But yeah, the academy just gives them better traits. So then they're better managers. And then basically, by that point, they make so much more money in the city... For example, he's got 10 management, sell, uh, what's he called? Selefkos. 14,000 from Seleucia. Are you kidding me? That is obscene. But what, what happens when we take him out? Yeah, we lose about 3, 000, more than 3,000 when we take him out. So that management really does make a big difference. So you do want to have good managing governors, especially in this mod. In vanilla, it's not so important, especially with the low amount of settlements. But in this mod, it's going to bring down your corruption and also everything else. So, definitely worth it. Oh, we managed to get them all the way in there, didn't we? Fantastic. Now, oh, we've got... Yep, yeah, you, you... Yeah, great. End of turn. I've just been ranting for a couple of bloody turns. Uh, a couple of minutes. <laughs> There's no need for me to rant so much there. Um, there is another one on the right, isn't there? Uh, yeah, we can see those are the settlements off to the left. I think we might go for them first. Oh, I don't know. This one on the right, though, needs... Ah, there's Pergamon. Well, 
Good job that we have an army ready-made in Sardis ready to fight them. I think we can afford to wait one more turn. Yeah, we definitely can afford to wait one more turn. We'll take our general out. Uh, we'll take one of our generals out. We'll take... Um, it's Ariathus, isn't it? Over here. Ariathus the Conqueror, I think he's called. And he is really a big conqueror. You're 40, so I'll say no. Civil disorder. Oh my god, there's a load of civil disorder this time. Really? Trying to take... That'll solve that one. Gaza, really? Why are you so upset in Gaza? Oh, we need somewhere around here where we can recruit troops. I wonder whether we could leave Elusa, say. Can for one turn. And, yeah. Get the sewers there. Right, Termesos. God damn it, bro. Everywhere has got angry all at once. We've got loads of men in here as well. Oh, can we afford to remove you? Well, what? Yeah, you have no influence. You have five. So I think you might be slightly better. How many do you have? You have zero. You're trash. I think this will solve it. Swapping them around a little bit. Did that solve that one, but obviously not this one. So is there anything we can build here? Oh, yep. Yeah. We can just get a shrine there. That's a lot more helpful. So we've done Termesos. Now Anazabos. God damn it, bro. Can you just all... Can you just be happy for once, people? So much rioting. It's obscene. <laughs> Move out. Yes, Stratigos. Tell you what. Can we leave here? Forward. We can. Yes, well, that's going to be helpful. In there. And then you yes, go to here. Lots of uh, messing around. Yeah, they were right. They're writing on 70% here. So let's get the shrine to take. Oh, Nisa. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's really not ideal, is it? <laughs> oh, that is not ideal. I. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we're holding on to Nisa. For one more turn. That's definitely going to die. Gadara has upgraded. Let's do that. And then Arapa. Let's put that in there. Betrayed by Pergamon. Yep. And that has also broken our alliance with the Antigonids. God damn it, bro. At least they're not going to do any naval invasions. Touch wood. I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> not yet on us. Oh, well. Oh, well. Right, can you guys get out and send one? Yeah, they need two in here. That means we've still got one, though. You need to come up over this region. It's going to take you a little bit of extra time because you don't have a general with you. Uh, so... Oh, God, we've got to go walk all the way around. Yeah. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, well. So, yeah, you'll be solved next turn. 42 casualties, really. Not expecting that many. Destroy Ptolemaic recruitment. Build those. And then... Build the shrine to Hera. I think we're going to have to stop here for a little bit. 0% on that. Going to have to bring the Akantistai back down. Should really build a bit of a recruitment hub down here somewhere. This would probably be the best option, honestly. 
It's a minor city. Yeah, let's build that. How many turns? Five. Let's not build the shrine to here then. Let's build that instead. Iconion upgraded. Fantastic. See, them upgrading into cities is going to be so helpful with all the rioting. Really, really going to help out. I, I think Nisa will flip back to being Parthian, you know. So I'm a little bit scared by that. But, I mean, we still need to go for this fight against... I think we go for Charakata and then do a defensive battle against them. As well as whoever's in Charakata. There's only four units in there. Yeah, that's definitely the that's definitely the pla the play I think. Oh, you dickhead! <laughs> Why? You know there's a set. Ah! God damn it, bro! You know there's a settlement there. Why would you walk past it when you know it stops you? God damn! Path around it for God's sake, bro! That is so dumb. Okay, big army's coming, but we're going to be able to do a defensive battle against them. I mean, we got a lot of... We don't have much missile troops, but... We do have stone walls. Yeah, we're not going to reach... The archers aren't going to get there anyway. So it's definitely worth... Yeah, yeah, getting a throp right. We'll do a defensive battle there. Nisa will be gone. So, what I'm thinking is, if Nisa's going to go, let's just get as much money as we can out of it. Yep. I think that's the play. Can't destroy that, can we? Oh, we can destroy... I, I'm not going to destroy the port. Destroy the warlord's herds, though. It's actually made us, them more happy. Fusion Square... Let's just destroy everything. Including our temples that we've just built. I know we're not getting all the money back from them, but it's fine. And stick that on very high. And that's given us some nice bit of cash to inject to other places. But oh well, we'll take Charakata, then we'll probably have to come back to Nisa. That's going to be so frustrating. <sighs> and we'll do a good defensive battle at Alexandria there. This is just a bit of a mess, isn't it? We are neutral with Bactria right now, but it doesn't look like we're going to be neutral much longer. Right, Sardis over here. Let's retrain all these boys if we can. Just enough space. Fantastic. And then we'll go and destroy Pergamon. That should be fine. Uh, while we're here, let us... Let's recruit another ship. Get there. Just to make sure we can get across to these two islands. It's the only reason. But I think Pergamon will be destroyed quite quickly. Uh, yeah, like we said, we're going to stay here for a little bit until we get these guys. You guys are moving. Good. Uh, and then the north is just a mess. <laughs> It is just a mess right now up here. That's going to be annoying. If we take... If we take Char Karakata, Nisa's going to flip to them. So then they're just going to have another city. The good thing is, though, they're not going to be able to train anything there, are they? So that'll be fine. Yeah, there we are. That's It's Parthian. Good thing is, yeah, like I say, they're not going to be able to train anything at all because we destroyed everything. And here we can do our defensive battle. Oh, glorious. Here comes a big battle. A big, big, big battle. Again, the horse archers are going to be annoying. I can't believe that that goddamn army didn't path around the city. <laughs> I've got to keep... I've got to try and remember that, though. Good thing is they only have one. They've got the De and Noble Cavalry. Wait, they've got a general's bodyguard without a general. Well, that's interesting. I hope that doesn't crash the game. <laughs> but anyway, I think we're going to be okay. We've got some of these these good, really good archers in now as well. Not much cavalry, but like we did last time, if we've got a hill, we will use it to our advantage. 
So the other army should be coming from the back right, shouldn't it? Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Before night comes, this battle will be done. Whether the day goes well or Here we are. It's in our hands. This is another big, big battle. Big. Big. Fortunately, we don't have the glorious hill that we had last time. We do have a bit of a hill. I'm thinking that army will be coming in from either, well, from here or from there. So, yeah. Let's uh, sort these guys out. I think, yeah, I think this is the way to go. Let's have that line. Oh, God, it's a bit weak on that right-hand flank, isn't it? Yeah, you guys fire at will. And like we've done before, we'll just try and use these cavalry as best as we can. Again, so annoyed that we didn't get the other one. Mm, where are they? Yeah, they're coming directly from the right of us. So if we just kind of... You know, slot around. These guys get there. Let's get here. And we'll stay up in this region. Oh, it's going to be tough holding those front lines because they are they are definitely weakened. I wonder whether once we've taken Caracata, Car uh, Caracata, we come down a little bit. And back to uh, retrain our men. And then we can properly split them into two armies. One of them can go for Nisa. One of them can go for... Um... Oh, our Chalka Speeders are taking some damage. Yo. Oh, they're just... oh yeah, they're, they're not going to make it. Where are they? Shoot, that's all. You, you're just going to have to go for that. What are these? The horse archers. Get close so we can fire our javis. Should really damage the horse archers. They should want to run away from us. They might go for the charge though here. Come on guys, are you firing at javis at all? They've gone for the charge. I think that's worth us joining in on that. All our archers should be firing. Just make sure you're off that. Off. Think we're going to be okay. It's going to be tough though. We'll take a little bit of friendly fire like we've had before. But I don't think it's going to be anything too much. How are you boys doing? Not fantastically. Oh, we've, we've destroyed that horse archer, though. Now come up here. I don't want my general... I don't want my general getting shot by horse archers. He's our only cavalry to chase anyone down. So, yeah. Like I said, we don't want them getting shot by horse, archie, horse archers. Here comes the Caucasian hillman. Javis are coming into us now. Look how much missile troops. They're just pure missile troops, aren't they? The Takabara are actually a really decent unit. So I think we'll go for them. I think we've got to, I think we've got to advance the men. And uh, yeah, you archers, if you can, we'll put you... Put all the archers on guard mode. But if they can fire at those guys, the noble cavalry... Then we will. Are these the... Uh, yeah, they're the foot archers. They took a bit of damage on that charge. Fire your jabbies and then charge them again, boys. Okay, here we go. This is where we uh, get into the proper meat of the action. You guys need to come back. Maybe I've been a bit too aggressive there, I think. If we can get that rid of that bodyguard, though, I think we're going to be okay. I can get my general in here. You charge the back of them. Fire at them. This is going to be really close. 
Yep, this is going to be close. I'm going to rally the men as well. Got so little cavalry. If we can kill that general, that should have been a really good charge. But alas, it wasn't the greatest. Still good though, still good. Let's go for another one. Need to kill him and then we should be able to rout the rest of the boys. God, these generals, because they've got so little generals now, all of you need to be firing at them if you can. You guys, yeah, just fire where you can. Uh, yeah, go after that general. You guys need to uh, be charging them. How are we doing in this area? Not good. Come on, kill the general for God's sake. Yes, come on. That's good. That's going to rout a few of the boys. Shoot at them. God, our infantry is, is just shredded. I think we might lose this, you know. There's only three on that general as well. I think, yeah. These Asian light spearmen are not good. It's one thing you've got to remember. Okay, that's broken them. Really all about morale now. Really all about morale. However many, everyone can fire at that general. That would be ideal. So you guys, you've managed to chase them off. That's fine. Come back, come back. Uh, I'm going to get behind my archers. I'm not going to be able to survive a charge from that general's bodyguard just yet. So whatever he does... Yep. I'm going to have to wait for a little bit to do anything else. Let's rally the boys again. Our infantry is just shredded right now. We've hardly got any infantry left. All we've got is archers now, really. This is going to be so tight. Every move matters here now. Um, yeah, and I think we go for that charge. Oh, we're getting shredded by some horse archers. Goddamn general. Okay, that was a good charge. Did a lot of damage. Oh, did a huge amount of damage. Yes, come on. That's it, that's it. That's great. Now it's all about morale. All about morale. God damn it, bro. We need to get a route off of one of the one of these units. If we can route one of them, then maybe the others will start routing. Unhappy due to exhaustion. These guys are pretty unhappy overall, honestly. They should route straight away, surely. We needed that extra cavalry. If he'd have pathed properly, then we might <laughs> we would have felt we would have it would have been so much better position. Come on boys, let's go. Oh, God damn it! This is gonna be a loss, isn't it? It's gonna be a loss. Oh, this is this is so tough. Okay, big, big battle that we've lost here. If we do lose, which I don't think we're going to win now. Very, very unlikely. Uh, whoa, those Javis coming in as well. Yeah, that's my men gone. That is us done. No, we needed those horsemen. I think if we'd had those horsemen, we would have won that relatively easily. Oh, God damn it. Where are you? You run away. You need to run, bro. You need to run. Speed that up. Oh, well. That's a bit annoying. Oh, we inflicted... They inflicted actually a little bit more. So this is, this is going to be a bloody, bloody war. But... I think we've pretty much re like uh, recruited a, a full new stack, haven't we, already? So, yeah. We go replenish, lick our wounds, go back to Nisa, I think, and this time probably exterminate, and then we'll look to the north, go and fight that big army again. <laughs> God damn it, bro. If we'd have had that extra, if we'd, we'd have had that horseman, I, we would have won. We definitely would have won there. But anyway, we just didn't have enough cavalry. 
Anyway, I'll see you on the uh, campaign map, guys. So, the war in the north continues, guys. Oh, we, did we die on the retreat? Oh, maybe we, we died. Maybe we died. We would prefer... What? No. <laughs> you already have attacked me. What am I... What? What? That makes no sense. God damn you. I knew Bactria was going to do this. It did sound like we retreated, but maybe we died. I, I don't know. Interesting. Well... Uh, one thing's for sure, we are retreating back down to there anyway. As quick as we can go. <laughs> and then we will return with two armies this time to take on Parthia. And we will have the mercenary cavalry with us. Oh, I'm a bit of a bit jerky. Oh, it's over there. Did they die then? Yeah, they did. Fully died. You Emis. Ah, oh, has died. Civil revolt in Nisa. Yeah, we know that. Did they just get some free troops? Oh, no, that's not my troops. Uh, yeah, you can just come and sit here. So the war has well and truly been dragged on by many years because of that defeat. So we won't have enough for two armies. And yeah, Bactria have declared war on us again. Rioting in a Naza boss. Yeah, we should be able to sort that out with this. Good. Sorted it. Oh, that's so, so frustrating. So, so frustrating. We 100% would have won that with these units. But oh well, we can't change anything, can we now? So, let us... Um, I don't want to attack them. They're not going to be in that battle. Have we got any more available? I mean, the Takabara are quite good, but just a bit expensive. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep on recruiting archers. And like I said, ideally we want two armies now in this region. But these are the only two recruitment hubs. It's going to take a while to get back up. To where we were before. I think we need to recruit another one of you in there. If we... I mean, you're a... Yeah, you're just a large town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We really, really do. I think we just take our time. I think we can defend the regions we have right now. I mean, that Parthian army is damaged quite a bit. It's gonna. They're going to rebuild as well. I think we take our time this time, rather than going mad and trying to rush them. But they have well and truly pushed us back there. That was kind of brutal, honestly, that battle. Mistakes were made. Mistakes definitely were made. Should have uh, made sure that I pathed around that building. But I always just forget that, that it doesn't do it automatically. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. And you guys... Yeah, you guys keep coming. Uh, yeah, we moved someone from there, didn't we? Um, I think Judea. Does that not have a recruitment thing? No. Well, we should build one in Judea anyway. So that we can recruit if we are getting riots in this region. Oh, well. Uh, that was quite frustrating. But what can you do? What can you do? We are waiting over there now. Bergamon's not pressed the attack. So, thank you to them for that. We got Ariathus. Got Artemios of Sardis. Right, everyone get to there. Now, let's sort the army. It's just all infantry, isn't it? If we take... Take these two out. The Gagira Speeders as well. We don't need them. Get in there. So that's two. And then... Oh, two. Yeah, we, we'll we we'll start building up another army, I guess, then. This will be the base of it. So again, another army that we're going to build up. We'll get the archers in there. So, yeah. In fact, we don't need five Zistafora in this army when we've got a... 
guys. So let's get that experience unit in there as well. So that's a better army. It's got a bit of better... Bit of a better makeup. And let's go uh, against Pergamon then. They might take there, but if we... Yeah, I think if they do take Adramition, I think we just go straight for Pergamon. It's a huge city. Should be very rich as well. Uh, you can stay there for now, and then we'll use you later. So let's uh, keep on recruiting. Ideally... Yeah, upkeep of 558. How much is the upkeep on you boys? 874. So it is cheaper to recruit the Zistafori first. So let's do that. Then I think we'll recruit the archers. I'm just going to queue them up so that I remember. Um, unless there's somewhere else where we can recruit archers around this region. Which I don't think there is. Yeah, there's not many recruitment hubs around here really. Uh, but yeah. Now we'll do that, and then we'll start getting the infantry, and we'll choose a little... We'll choose a general for that as well. They're still... Uh, yeah, they're still... Hmm. They're still blockading, but that's fine. I'm not bothered. Right, you guys have moved. You're still waiting. In the north, we've been repelled. <laughs> oh, goddamn. That was brutal. I do feel like we are... They are going to... They haven't got any siege equipment yet, so they can't do it this turn. So next turn, probably, they will attack. But a pretty decent army as well, but we do have the walls to help us, and we will have this cavalry to help us as well. Um, so, yeah. I think we'll be okay there against Bactria. If we lose that, we are screwed. That is the one problem that we do have. Uh, we are kind of screwed if we lose that. Uh, we are going to be reeling backwards because we have nowhere else to recruit over in that region. So we do need to defend that with everything we have. Right, now let's build. So Bertha, remain, remember, starting in the main region where we have no corruption. In fact, we will get the academy, like we said. Get the better management on these boys. I think we'll go for that. How much money? Yeah, that's oh, that makes some serious money. That is great. Babylon. Needs more population growth in Babylon to get up to a huge city. So we'll get the public baths. Then over here at Uruk, let's get the farming. Alexandria Charax, I think the farming as well. Those ones have built. Taioki, let's go for the market. Antiochia Persis. Let's go for Shrine to Hera for now. Uh, Passa, let's go for the farming. Uh, up north, Arbella. Let's go for the river ports. Ceresa. Let's go for that. And over here, let's go for the river ports. How much does that make? 219. That's pretty decent. They are very good, the river ports. I think the paved roads are definitely something we want to start building in a lot of these regions now. Um, and probably the Greek culture as well in a lot of places. Go for that. Odessa. Let's have a look what we can build. Only got 5,000 left, so let's go for the river ports. Heropolis. Let's build that. Apamea Zugma. Let's build the Shrine to Hera. Uh, Deliche. Go for a trader. And then, yeah, build the Shrine to Tyke there. That's everything. <sighs> God damn. I'm still reeling from that defeat. That was, that was a brutal, brutal defeat, really. So confident we could win. So confident we could win. And we could have. Like I say, if, if we'd have had that cavalry, there's I'm very confident we would have won if we'd had that cavalry there. That would just have been enough. Because last time the cavalry did so much damage, especially later on in the battle. But our infantry just got shredded. I probably also shouldn't have charged my infantry in. I probably should have just left them in line and let them soak up the uh the missile attack. So Yeah. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, let's say that. But anyway, let us end the turn. And let's see what happens. We are really ramping up our military production right now. And I'm kind of happy with that. That's that's good. Yep, whatever. We'll retreat. Are they going to come after us? Yeah, they are. I just had that guy there just to uh, 
see what was going on anyway. Oh, and he did manage to retreat out of it. Good. Interesting how we didn't manage to retreat out of Char Caracata as well, though. Ah. Well. I'm tempted to fight this because... I wish it would tell you what siege equipment they have. But no, we're obviously going to lose. Uh, but that actually opens the door for us to take their capital. So that's fine. They really think they're going to do well here, don't they, Bergamot? Okay, they've left the siege. And, yeah. Why would you retreat there? Retreat to the city. God damn it, bro. Right, well, we will fight this. And we will do as much damage as is possible. We do have some brilliant troops here. Really good horse archers and really good cataphracts. Obviously, we're not going to win. Uh, but we're going to try and just do as much damage to that Bactrian army as possible. So I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. This is the day for bravery, honestly. Um, we're just going to have the rest of our cavalry on this hill. And these boys, we're going to run them together. They might, one of them might be a bit slower than the other, but we'll run them together for now. And ideally, I want to take out their cavalry. No, I don't. I want to take out that infantry for the siege, because they do siege us down again. You're going to see how much how much damage horse archers can do here now, guys. And that's only Akontistai. Let's get after those Bactrian hop Hoplites. Come around this way. Ideally want to get rid of all our ammo before we engage anyone in melee. So we'll get them running after us as much as possible. Going to tire our troops out, but that's fine. Should be killing some Zistaforoi here. Not killed anyone yet. Really? How are we getting hit? What are we getting hit by? Our own men. Yeah, Zistaforoi taking some damage. Let's come around. Got to be wary with these uh, noble ones. They're a bit slower, as you can see. So, yeah. Really not doing as much damage as I was hoping early on. But they will just be breaking through that armor slowly. Oh, here comes uh, the Prodromoi. They are very fast. Now we're pretty much just focusing on the Zista 4. I should be an easy target. Come on, boys. Need to be doing more damage than this. Yeah, there we are. That's that's what we like to see. Really not doing much damage though, are they? Well, we'll come over this way, try and cut this uh, the rest of these boys off. Keep firing. They used a lot of ammo there. I want to ideally start taking chunks out of the Chalka Speeders. But they can fire at who they want. Yeah, keep firing, boys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. Then we'll just get our... We'll get a mass of cavalry, and we'll just try to deal as much damage as we can. Problem is, we're firing dead on into these guys, where they get their shield uh, bonus. If we fire at them uh, from a different angle, they won't get it quite as much. If we can kill the general, that would be great. That's pretty much the best thing we can get out of this battle. Oh, the battery and Hoplite is starting to fall quite rapidly there. What's that? Prodromoi. I don't care about firing into them. Let's come around this way. I mean, if the Prodromoi want to get close, we can charge them. They are trying to forcing us away from the army now. Get in there. Yep. You really want to do that, Prodromoi, do you? Yep, made them route. Good. There's got more Prodromoi on the way, though. Our men are right on top of that hill. Let's go. Okay, no, they actually managed to avoid it that time. That's fine. How many have we killed so far? Quite a lot. <laughs> actually, quite a lot. 
Not more than what I was expecting. <coughs> so a bit of a slow start. Followed by a bit of a fast... A lot of death now for the enemy. Obviously never going to win this, but... Just try and take as much chips out of them as possible. Chip them down. Might make all the difference in our siege battle. Horse Archer is so good. So they just had a charge horn then. But I'm assuming it was the Hoplites and not the Prodromoi. Yeah, we should catch them here. Uh, it was the Prodromoi. Instantly broken. Fools. Nowhere near that general. I'm, there's too many troops in the way to get close to them, but... We'll try do a little bit of a strike on them if we can. Let's try and make our way back around. And we'll just be firing at the enemy the whole way. Doing some good damage to a lot of their troops. The Chalka Speeders have hardly taken any. That's the one problem. One thing, these guys are going to be very tired by the time they're uh, they've been used. I think we can afford to go double speed now. I think we're not in too much of a risk. That general is who we're trying to target. Let's go. If we can get a cheeky charge on the general, I think I'm going to risk it. Even without my uh, melee cav. I mean, these guys are nearly done firing now. So, speed it up. Now, you boys, let's get over here. If they want to go... The Hoplites will take a charge against the Hoplites. Problem is that all kind of spearmen. If he, what is he doing with that general? If he brings them out past the Chalka Speeders, we are going for them. And we've got our uh, cataphracts over here now as well. Here we go. This is it. This could be it. I'm not bothered about taking a bit of damage against those Chalka Speeders. If we get his general. Get around them. Get them. Is this the four right? Is this the four right? Oh, God. Cataphracts will just go for the charge anyway. <laughs> that was not a good charge. Kill the general. That is what we need to do. And everyone routed, like, almost instantly. Really? You're not... You should be better than the Zista 4 right? Really? Try to rally them. Yeah, that's... Every oh, what? Instant the charge. Instantly we did the charge and they all routed. So we... No chance we're going to kill the general now. I guess I underestimated the power of the Zista 4 They are a decent cavalry unit. I should not... Yeah. We did kill a lot more than they did, though. That should also allow us to retreat, surely. Oh, yeah. We, that was a bit dumb. Oh, well. Oh, it's been a tough episode. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. There we are. It looks like he maybe did retreat, uh, but we heard that sound last time, and it killed them. So I guess maybe not. Um, one thing we're, we're lacking now up here as well is generals. So we should probably send one from Seleucia. Um, I mean, you would be great, but you are at Ephesus. <sighs> Why are all of them down there? Halicarnassus is rioting again. <sighs> God damn it, bro. They keep they 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 keep going from like being fine to rioting to being fine to rioting. It's kind of weird. Yeah, we've had another one who died. Oh, Saluki has got a. Uh, Bit of an issue there. Right, Adramarkos, you're 20. I'm gonna send you to the far north, my friend. Tasked. It's gonna take you forever to get there, though. God damn it. That is a long time. Yeah. Alex Arcos has died. Oh well. Ah, oh, it's been a tough, tough episode, hasn't it? One good thing. Oh, we did uh, We did escape. Adimanthos has escaped this time. Okay. I think we do need to send these guys up north. Now, if Bactria attacks this army now, that's bollocks, okay? 
Because they should not be able to see that army. Um, so they shouldn't attack it. But they, unfortunately, the AI knows where everything is. Send you round. See, I mean, it seems like it's been bad in this region. And it has. It has been bad. <laughs> but it's not been that bad. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We've got some big armies. But like I say, we do need two armies in this region now. Back down to 25k. I wonder where that massive drop has come from. We just lost a whole army. It went up to like 40,000 last turn. So I don't know where that huge drop has come from. Oh, I bet because of death stalking the land in Seleucia. Let's have a look. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, that is huge. So no trade. Let's get the public baths. Let's get that straight away. Should hopefully tip it outside of the realm of... Everything has gone wrong in this episode. God damn it. We've got plague. We've been absolutely ruined by the Parthians in a battle. Um, but oh well. Not much you can do, is that? Uh, right. Let's bring you down over here like we talked about before. You're moving that way. Antio uh, Antiochus will not be happy right now. I can tell you that for free. Okay. Two spaces there. Um, let's see whether we can leave. Not hugely. Uh, right. And we'll go... It's a long way to those ones, so let's leave them for now. Okay, there's a... Death stalking the land over here as well. It's not really something we want to uh, entertain. So we'll probably wait them out and see whether they're still plagued at the end. It's only four turns because of the plague. Right. Over here, though, I think we go straight for Pergamon. We will definitely fight that battle on the battlefield. Take Pergamon off them. Good. Good. Right. So we are... Yeah, we're still... You know, we're not in a bad... We're in a great situation, honestly. We've just had a minor setback. My, when I say minor, we've had one of our armies destroyed in the north. And honestly, I'm surprised we haven't had an army destroyed by the Parthians up to this point. The one good thing is... I still think the Parthians won't be too hard to destroy, seeing as they only have two settlements. When we split into two armies, we will have two armies. We will have one go to Antiochi Marginai and one go to Nisa. Then the other one straight up to Charicata and they'll kind of cross over. And one will go up this left-hand side and one will go on this right-hand side of the Bactrian lands. Um, are we still building over here? We are. What about in this region? We do have Seleucid recruitment here, so I think it's only a large town though, Isonian. What are we building in this area? I think... Yeah, this is a minor city as well, so we need to... Let's upgrade it so we can actually get some troops. And let's let's kind of upgrade them all so that we can get troops. Uh, oh, you're building that already. Although... Yeah, we can build archers here. So let's start doing that. Um, and let's uh, build a few more buildings in this region. We haven't done that for a while. Tagai. Trader. Sewers. Um, trying to tyke. Armadia. Let's go for the sewers. And then trying to hear it. Yep. Well, I think that's going to conclude it for today. Brutal episode there. Episode 16, guys. Absolutely brutal. But, yeah, as I say, big battle at Cherokata. But honestly, that army is so damaged now that we shouldn't have too much trouble destroying it. What we ideally need to do is create an army. Uh, create two armies that have about three or four spots available for mercenary horse archers that will recruit. 
Um, specifically, obviously, to combat uh, Parthia. And also do a lot of damage to Bactria. We just saw how much damage they can do to Bactria uh, by themselves. So that's great. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.